Department as well. Nice crossover move. Layup. Count it and one. Hit the red subscribe button right now and catch up on more awesome videos like this in the future. Hey there guys, what's up and welcome back to our channel. Obviously, referees in the league aren't perfect, but some calls get players so heated that they actually attack them. As per the NBA's rules, any physical contact with the referee is an instant injection and in some cases, suspension and ban. And these players got into the heat of the moment and put their entire careers at risk. Let's head on in and see who these unfortunately ill-tempered players are. Number 9, Dennis Rodman. That's it, Bernard. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, oh. That looked like he headbutted him. If he did. Dennis Rodman didn't shy away from taking things up a bit and in turn jeopardizing his entire career. Rodman was known as one of the most physical players in the league with an I don't care attitude all the time and this often got him into trouble. This time, it was difficult for him to get out of it because it involved a referee. In March of 1996, Rodman got ejected for an altercation with a player on the court and he got infuriated with a referee that was pleading his case. He headbutted him and tossed him out of the game for the second time. Rotman was so heated that he didn't leave and ripped off his jersey and began flipping over chairs and causing a commotion in the stadium. Rotman was, as a result, suspended and fined $20,000 for his actions. The NBA said the suspension was justified and reflects not only the headbutting but the totality of his actions on the court. And any physical assault with a referee will not be tolerated under any circumstances. Number 8. Nick Van Exel. Ron Garrison in last night's game at Denver. Van Exel has been suspended for seven games and fined a record $25,000 in all. Van Exel was one of those players who always sat on the edge of their seat and was often looked at as a loose cannon. In April 1996, in a game between the Lakers and Timberwolves, Van Exel was walking back to the bench pretty heated when he heard the referee say something that triggered him. Exel then ran him over and used his entire force to shove into him and knock him off his feet and on the scores table. He was, as a result, suspended for the rest of the regular season and fined a grand total of $187,000. The league's former director of operations said it was a necessary step given the lesson it presents for other players since any such act will never be tolerated. Number 7, Stephen Curry. Celebration actually punches. Things get heated between players mid-game quite often and some of them find it harder to control their impulses than others. Such is true for Stephen Curry, the all-star NBA player and the ultimate player from the Golden State Warriors when he accidentally punched the referee in the face after shooting a score when the foul was called. Although Steve apologized to the referee for being caught in the moment, it wasn't the most ideal move made by him. Number 6. Kevin Porter Jr. With Kevin Porter Jr. trying to make a name for himself in the NBA as well as trying to solidify his starting role in the Cavs, he made a mistake in his rookie season that cost him a significant piece of his paycheck. The league decided to punish Porter for what he did regardless of the severity of his action that was hitting an in-game official in November of 2019. When the Cavs' first round draft Kevin Porter was frustrated by a call that the referee made, he ran back past him to the benches and Shorter checked him while he left. This resulted in a one game suspension without pay and it was necessary to maintain player decorum and the professionalism of the league. Number 5, Isaiah Thomas. Alright, let's see this replay here. Oh. Isaiah Thomas is known for wearing his emotion on his sleeves and they got the best of him in a game between the Trailblazers where he got physical with the referee. Early in January of 2020, the Wizards were playing against the Trailblazers and just 90 seconds into the game, Isaiah got ejected for pushing a referee who stumbled back and he called him out immediately. It was called to be a hostile act towards the game official. When Thomas was dribbling up the sideline, he was caught by Carmelo Anthony and Damian Lillard with the referee standing right in front of them. 
As Thomas was pushed towards him, he reached his hand out and pushed the referee onto the two men sitting on the court side. After the review, the referee stuck with their decision and tossed out Isaiah. When asked later, Isaiah clarified his position and said it was unintentional and it was an unfortunate situation. Number 4. Carlos Boozer With the spin move against Dirk. He bristed that in. Yeah, oh, wow! His, he did get it! When Carlos Boozer was trying to make a name for himself while he was on the Chicago Bulls in 2013, he did something to a referee that might never be forgotten. In 2013, when the Bulls were facing off against the Mavericks, Boozer was attacking the rim when he made a right-handed hook shot. The referee blew the whistle for a foul against the player from the other team, but the ball had been in the rim and they scored. Boozer raised his hand in accomplishment and swung his fist, but he didn't realize that was Danny Crawford that was behind him and hit right into his inner leg. Instantly after the punch, Carlos's eyes lit up and he knew he did something utterly foul. But somehow, it all ended up in smiles and laughs because Danny understood the situation and continued with the game as if nothing happened. Number 3. Stephen Curry Yep, Stephen Curry again. Curry being the GSW star player often gets into feuds with other players and some referees. Well, this wouldn't have been taken lightly like he did last time because this time was very much intentional. In this game against the Grizzlies, when Steve reached out for a shot and made it, but somehow got mad at the referee for blowing the whistle. And as an attempt to show his anger, he threw his mouthpiece at him. The referee acted immediately and got him ejected from the game for this hostile move. Number 2. Austin Rivers from Austin Rivers right here. Right here is trying to go back. Like others, Austin Rivers also got caught in the heat of the moment and ended up pushing the referee after an unsuccessful shoot. In the Clippers versus Rockets game, things often get serious since both teams are one of the finest in the league. Rivers, as he went up to make the shot, wasn't able to make it due to the block from the opponents and he showed his anger with a push to the referee standing right by the shooting post. While the intentions were unclear, the referee stood by their decision and he was immediately ejected from the game. Number 1. Montres Harrell Montres Harrell is another player from growing increasingly frustrated sooner than others on the court and this time it got him caught up with the referee. The league is serious about their in-game officials and any act of hostility against them hence spares no one who commits any such thing. Harrell got mad when he fell down during a block from the opposing team and as the referee blew the whistle, he got mad and almost chucked the ball into him. It was a heated moment for him and he was about to throw the ball at him until he realized how this could get him severely penalized and handed with a suspension and fine. Let us know your thought about these fiascos. This brings us to the end of our video which we hope you guys enjoyed. Do hit the like button, subscribe to our channel and smash that bell icon to be notified of more videos like this in the future.